friends, what is up? Welcome back to my channel. It is your girl Brittany Jade and I am so glad that you guys clicked on this video. If you can't already tell by the title, we are going to be talking about everything that you should be packing in your baby's diaper bag when they are going to daycare. So my son TJ just turned one years old and he is getting ready to go to a daycare facility for the very first time and I'm packing up his diaper bag for tonight because he starts in the morning and I figured what better way than to share with you guys everything that I am packing in his bag. I know that times are really tough right now and parents are having to make some extremely difficult decisions. So whether or not you choose to keep your child at home or put them in a childcare facility or send them off to school, just know that my mama heart is with you and any Anything that I can do to make this transition easier or help make you feel more prepared, I am here to do so. So let's go ahead and get on into the items that I'm packing in TJ's diaper bag. I'm going to break this up into like categories or like things that you should be packing on a daily basis and things that should be packed on a weekly basis. You'll need to check in with your specific daycare facility on what they expect you to bring or if your child will have like a cubby or if they want you to bring a diaper bag or something like that daily. My daycare facility has specifications and things that they would like us to bring and keep there at the facility during the entire week that they will be there. So for us, it's just two days a week, Thursdays and Fridays. So we will bring a bag on Thursdays and then we'll take that bag home with us on Friday. And in that bag, the first thing that we bring is our bedding. We will be bringing a fitted sheet for his crib because they do have cribs there. So we'll be bringing the fitted sheet for that. And then I also included this really soft baby blanket. It's one of his favorites. It's something that he uses in his crib regularly. So we will just be making sure that he has something nice and cozy and warm. And as we go into the fall and winter months, I might pick up something a little bit heavier. It just kind of depends. I go back and forth between what kind of blankets the kids get and this will get dropped off and it will stay in his cubby with his name and in his bag for the Thursday and the Friday that he's there. And speaking of bags, I know a lot of times we want to get like a super cute diaper bag or an extra diaper bag or something like that, but our daycare facility actually has a rule where the bags that come into the facility with the weekly items need to be like those reusable grocery style bags. I think it's it has something to do with the fact that any kind of cotton or other material has a higher likelihood of carrying like bacteria and germs and things like that. So they have always had this in place. So we always have used like these reusable, I don't even know what this kind of material is called, but like the reusable grocery bag material. This is just a bag that I had in my laundry room. So I just go ahead and pack this with his bedding. So his bedding will go in here. And this is something that we will bring every week. And it just, it's really lightweight, super easy. It fits right into his cubby. It's got handles, which I like. And it's nice and clean, waterproof. So that's always a good thing. The so next item that I bring for a weekly item is diapers and wipes. So I like to bring an entire pack of diapers. And for his first time there, I'm actually gonna bring two packs just because this is what we have extra. So I'm gonna bring two entire packs of diapers and I'm going to label this by writing his name on both sides of the pack and this will also go in his cubby. This way I don't have to worry about bringing diapers with me every single day or if I run low or something, the daycare facility will let me know a few days ahead of time so that I can stock up. But this way I don't even have to think about diapers. He has them there in his own cubby where his diaper changing stuff will be. I also make sure to bring an entire case of wipes because same thing, I just like to keep everything there and I will have this labeled and it will go directly into his cubby. So that is something that I will make sure that we keep stocked up on kind of like bi-weekly, every few weeks I'll check in, but I like to make sure that I have that there. If you have a child who's going there five days a week or more on a full-time basis, you'll find that it's really beneficial to have an entire pack of diapers there, that way you can just go drop the diapers off once a week. You don't have to worry about constantly bringing in a diaper bag. But of course, you're gonna wanna check with your specific daycare facility and see what rules they have in place. So the next thing that I'm going to bring is going to be his Desitin. This is just the diaper rash cream. And I do have to fill out a form for this, like a release stating that the daycare facility providers can use this, which I think is super funny, but they are just being cautious. So I do label this with his name so that they knows whose it is. And it stays in his diaper cubby. And the next thing that I bring in to keep there is like a little bag of medicines. Now what I have included in this is I have 
the teething gels and we use the wink teething gels this is the wink naturals cool teething gum gel we have used this with nova as well i absolutely love this company i love their product i think it's amazing and it's a great price it's all natural which i really love there's no benzocaine in here and i think that it's really effective i've actually tested it before and put it on my own gums. I feel like it's really awesome. It feels nice and cool and TJ really loves this stuff. So we definitely recommend this. And by the way, all of the products that I am talking about today, I will have linked down below for you guys if I can find them or if they're available. So make sure that you check the description box below for any items that I'm sharing in today's video. So I also am going to be packing in a little bit of the gripe water. This is the Little Remedies gripe water and I, he doesn't really use this as much anymore, but I always like to have something like this on hand if for some reason he's super, super fussy and they can't figure out like how to calm him down. And you know, when babies cry a lot and they bring in a bunch of air, it can make their tummies really upset. So gripe water is something that we definitely used a lot the first five or six months of his life. It's not something that we use a lot now, but I just like to have it on hand before they like call me or think that they need to give him any Tylenol or Motrin or anything like that I like to have gripe water as an option it's a natural alternative and it does help with like any coliciness or any gassiness so I just think gripe water is a good thing to have for your daycare facility and the next thing that I have I actually do pack in a bottle of the Motrin infant drops now I will have to fill out another form like a medication form and I just keep it all stored in a little ziploc bag and I have the little medicine dispenser in there so that they just have it it's nice and clean and safe everything in here is labeled with his name and this also just goes in his little cubby so i also like to pack in a container of sunscreen this is just the equates kids sunscreen spf 50 it's water resistant and i just got this at walmart this is just something that i like to have on hand especially in the summer we are going into fall right now but we are still having some hot days so just in case they take the kids outside i like to have sunscreen there and some daycares do actually require that you have it so this is labeled right now with my daughter's name because every sunscreen i get i just automatically write her name on it when i send it to school um so this one will be tj's and it will go in his weekly bag that so time. the next thing that i have is something for tj if he is feeling a little anxious or sad or you know he needs like a little remembrance of home i picked up this super cute baby photo book and it is a really nice soft squishy baby material with a nice little handle i picked this up off amazon it was only five dollars and totally worth it in my opinion there are these really nice contrasting colors on the inside which are great for baby's eyes and I put in a bunch of pictures of just me and Taylor and his sister. So that way, whenever he wants to like look at us or play with us, he can just open up this little baby book that's completely safe for him. And I just printed these photos on regular paper. So I didn't even go with like real photos. So this was super inexpensive. I printed the photos right here at home. They're just little tiny pictures of us. And I just thought that this would be really nice for him, especially because he does have a little bit of separation anxiety where he is not too happy when he gets around new people that he doesn't know. I just felt like the daycare transition would be kind of hard for him. So I feel like this is a really great little thing just to invest in. It just helps your little person person whenever they're feeling sad they can just open it up and look at you and just seeing your photo and seeing your face kind of gives them a sense of comfort and relief so I'm so glad that I picked this up and I definitely recommend that you guys do as well oh if you're still here watching this please if you're not already make sure that you're following me over on my Instagram I will have that listed right here you're gonna want to follow me on my socials because I talk a lot about motherhood and healthy eating and postpartum fitness and how to live your best life we are just doing all of the mom things over there where you can participate in polls and I can find out how to better serve you as my besties over on social so okay so the next thing that I have for the weekly is I always am going to include two extra sets of outfits just in case so that's going to include a pair of pants a t-shirt and a pair of socks i just do basic plain white onesies for the tops because honestly let's face it like babies are always going to get dirty at daycare it's just what they're there for they're there to play and have fun and i just have like basic really soft joggers 
and then I also have two pairs of socks. So you're gonna wanna make sure that you have two outfits, two additional pairs of pants, and two socks, because you just never know, kids lose their socks all the time. And then I also have two of these little like uh, towel bibs. These are awesome. I think that they're really great. You don't have to worry about the straps. You just put them right over their baby, over the baby's head. It's nice and stretchy. It's really like this easy to clean material. Like you just throw it in your wash. It's like super easy. But I just love this. I feel like it's really easy, especially for daycare. Like they can just ooh, put it right on you. They don't have to worry. Like my son does the thing where when you try to strap a bib around his neck, he does like this whole like thing with his neck and it's like really hard and it can be kind of frustrating especially when you've got other kids to worry about so I feel like these are great for the daycare provider and they're super cute they've got this little Elmo print on them I'll definitely make sure to have these linked down below for you guys if I can find them they were a gift and I just feel like it's super cute like the Mickey Mouse on this one so I always make sure to have extra bibs that's something that I pack every single week I actually even have this third one here and this bib does have Velcro. It's got Velcro on the back. It's a newbie bib, but what I like about it is that it has the teether on the tip, so this is just like another fun little option for like when he's just, you know, not eating necessarily, but just like there in the facility playing and stuff. He's teething, so he's drooling a lot, so I will expect them to kind of have the bib on him. It just kind of helps keep him a little bit cleaner and a little bit more dry and comfortable in the neck area, so this is great, and it's got the teething toy on there, which I love. So besides that, we are also gonna make sure, you wanna make sure that you always have extra binkies. Like, so I love these binky clips. I got these really beautiful wood silicone beaded clips off of Amazon and I will have them linked down below for you guys. I feel like these are just so beautiful. I love the look of them. They're really nice neutral colors. And I love the little wooden piece for the actual clip here. It's just so nice and they just feel really high quality and I absolutely love it. And the best part about it is that these keep your baby's binkies from getting lost and falling on the floor. So it's a win-win for me, especially at daycare. It's like, I'm sorry, you can just never be too sure with daycare floors. I know they try and keep them as clean as possible, but the last thing I want is something that my kid puts in their mouth to be falling all on the floor it's just yucky. So I definitely recommend investing in some binky clips and then making sure that your daycare facility has the binky clip attached to the baby and then maybe an extra pacifier in the bag where the medicines are in case for whatever reason they happen to lose that binky, but you cannot go wrong with these and it's such a good investment. Plus these are just really beautiful and I love them. I mean, how cute are those, seriously? Okay, so, and I do like to keep TJ's clothes. Each outfit will get wrapped up in this Ziploc bag and they'll be labeled with his name so that they know that they're his. It, also, it stores each clean outfit, but it also is good for whenever they take the clean outfit out, they automatically have a little bag to put the dirty outfit in that they've taken off of him. So this way I can just go home, dump this right into my wash, throw this bag away or wash it or whatever I choose to do, and that is it. It's a nice, easy cleanup, and I just think that it's a good way to keep the outfits all together and separate so the daycare teachers don't even have to think about it. They can just grab the bag with his name on it, and there's a full outfit in there. So Ziploc bags are your friend when organizing, so I'm definitely going to be making sure that I'm doing that. So there are a few daily items that I also make sure to bring every single day. And the first daily item is going to be his lunch. So we are responsible for packing a lunch and two snacks while he's there. And as you know, if you don't know already, my son TJ does do baby led weaning. So he eats a full diet. So I'm going to make sure that I am packing for him a breakfast item, a snack, some fruit, yogurt, a lunch item or lunch meal, whatever I decide to give him. I just wanna make sure that he is filled up with snacks. I usually like to pick between five and seven items to have in the lunch kit, but this little lunch kit is so cute. Um, I'll see if I can find this somewhere, guys, but I actually got this on base. I just love it. It's like a little bento box, but what I love most is that it has this little space here for these two little snack cups, which is really nice and convenient, especially for a baby, because I can do like fruit in here or yogurt or applesauce or whatever. 
And then in this portion of the box here, it's nice because there is a sandwich insert where I can do something on the bottom and like a sandwich on top or something. And then there is an extra space over here as well with an additional divider. So this is just like an awesome, awesome little bento box for your kids. You can honestly use this even with older kids. I feel like this would be really awesome. I'm also going to make sure that I have his formula and his sippy cup with him every single day. So the sippy cup is going to be labeled with his name, of course, and then he's also going to have a separate little cup that's specifically for water. I also would like to state that I think having a written routine or schedule that you like to follow for your baby at home would be something good for the provider to know, like when they usually eat, when they start getting fussy, what time they go down for their naps. These are all great information for daycare providers to have. Most daycare facilities will kind of have a set schedule for each room. So for instance, TJ's room, they all go down for nap around the same time. So they do like to get them into a routine or rhythm like for their own facility. So as much as I would like for him to stay on his nap time schedule, I know that eventually he will get more acclimated to going to sleep when they put him down. So we'll see how that all works out. And as far as labeling goes, if you're somebody who is super crafty, you can definitely get the professional looking labels or just make labels on your Cricut. I have done that before in the past with his bottles. I have labeled them with his name, which I think is really cute. And I will probably do that same thing again with his sippy cups. But if you were on a budget and you're looking for something a little bit quicker and easier, you can always just use painter's tape and a good old Sharpie marker. I do this for a lot of things including our medicines, our diaper rash cream and things like that. I'll just use a piece of painter's tape and stick it on the back. It, that thing will stick there as long as you want it to and I will just write his name in permanent marker and honestly it works so well. So don't feel like you have to go out and spend a bunch of money on it, any fancy labels or anything like that. The daycare just wants their name on it. That's literally it. You're going to want to make sure that you're labeling the diaper packages the wipes package you're gonna to want to make sure that all of their cups and their lunch boxes and any like utensils that you bring in are labeled and you'll also want to ask the daycare provider if they want you to bring in utensils or just confirm what kind of items that they will be providing and what they expect you to provide and things like that so you just want to make sure that you keep the dialogue and the communication open and I am so excited for you if you have made the decision to put your child into daycare and I hope that this gave you guys a ton of good tips. If it did, please make sure to give this video a thumbs up. If you're not already, I really hope that you would consider hitting that red subscribe button and joining the fam and I appreciate you guys so much for all of your love on these videos and I'll catch you guys in the next one. Bye.